this this bad boy could work for a couple people, a couple different kind of people, a couple different types of investors. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like my origin story, right? That's your house hackers, y'all. When I got started in the game, I was 21 years old managing a Radio Shack. This is like 08, 09, somewhere in there. Okay, bought myself a house. As long as you get to the team before it's Miller time, we will get you in there the same day. Also, this show is not sponsored by Miller. Would be cool if it was, though. But it freaking could be. It could be, guys. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, saying it's selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Y'all, I got a turnkey property for you guys over in Canton, man. This one, 208 Clarendon, Canton, Ohio, y'all. This this bad boy could work for a couple people, a couple different kind of people, a couple different types of investors. You know what I'm saying, right? We got a price, 164.9, and it is purely turnkey, right? So if you're just a normal run-of-the-mill Holton Wise TV viewer uh, who's probably like an out-of-state investor looking for turnkey markets, looking for turnkey property management, this property is going to be a very nice low-impact deal for you, right? be able to rent this sucker out for like 1400 bucks a month uh it's it's much bigger and it was renovated and it's looking pretty nice right so uh you could go with like a section 8 route and i think you'd get a pretty darn high voucher there because again the size the renovations uh you got four beds two baths right you could go that route but you could also go with like regular cash paying tenants right uh you're right next to the altman hospital there right so you get some hospital workers right you could even do like short to medium term rentals right those like like, uh, like nurse finder type websites, right? You get nurses and whatnot to come in. They live somewhere for like six months and then they go somewhere else, right? Traveling nurses, right? So just like a, from a pure turnkey, hey, I want to buy this. I just want to put down 25%. Want Holton Wise to handle the management. Nice low impact thing. I'm not really <laughs> looking to end up with my property on the Tenants from Hell show. Uh, that kind of stuff. We probably could do pretty well for you, right? I like the Canton market. I think Canton's uh, much more investor friendly than like other markets around uh, this general area that like people think are very popular, right? Like take uh, Canton versus Cleveland. Uh, Canton much more investor friendly. Uh, than Cleveland, Ohio, right? Like you don't have those new crazy lead certification laws in Canton that you got to deal with in Cleveland. It's just a altogether more landlord-friendly situation, right? So that's like one type of buyer, right? Your traditional turnkey investor, the Holton Wise. We work with people like you all day, every day, right? That's our bread and butter. But there's another type of buyer for this, right? Another type of buyer that I like because uh, this is kind of like my origin story, right? That's your house hackers, y'all. When I got started in the game, I was 21 years old managing a Radio Shack. This is like 08, 09, somewhere in there. Okay, bought myself a house, uh, used an FHA loan, okay, later... Turned that into a rental property, rented it out for, like I don't know, like seven, eight years, something like that, and then eventually sold it uh, for about double what I paid for it, right? Just under double, okay? That's the kind of stuff you guys could do. This is a good starter home for house hackers, right? Because here's the deal, house hackers. I think a lot of people, right? I get a lot of questions, right? Whether it be, you know, in the comments on like YouTube or TikTok or like, you know, in the comments of bigger pockets, you know, or people just sending me emails. They're like, hey man, should I invest first? Should I get a rental first? Or should I buy my own home first? And I always tell these people, I'm like, look, dude, or lady, like here's the deal. No matter what, you're paying off somebody's mortgage. You need a roof over your head. So you're paying a mortgage. You want to pay your own mortgage or do you want to pay your landlord's mortgage via rent, right? Where you get nothing back. Of course you want to pay over pay off your own mortgage, right? So I think house hackers should look at deals like this, right? You don't want to go in and do a house hack on a property that's like in the ghetto and it's like a duplex and you're not comfortable living that close to your tenant, right? I mean, some of you might be fine doing that, but some of you might be like, oh, you know, I'm a little uncomfortable with that. Like this is like a, a pretty solid deal for a house hacker, right? It's very similar to the deal I did when I got started at 21 and you know, here I am today. I've sold over $200 million worth of real estate. So, you know, I guess you could say uh, that things have gone pretty well for me. I mean, I do drive a vehicle that costs more than that house that I owned for like, I don't know, shit. I lived there for seven years, rented it for seven years. I mean, I own the house for 
Oh eight, oh nine. I think I saw it in like 2022. I don't know, whatever the math is. I owned it for a lot of years, right? And, uh, you know, it's done very well by me. That was, that was how I got started in the game. And I think this is a good house to get you started in the game, right? Because think about it, guys. It's 164.9. You use an FHA loan. You only need 3.5% down. So, like, what are we looking at? Like 5,000, 5,500, 6,000 total, right? Uh, then you get to live there. You got to live there for 12 months. After that 12-month period, move out, buy another house, and then slap a tenant in there at 1400 As I was talking earlier, you have options, right? You got nurses, traveling nurses for the midterm rentals. You got just decent cash-paying tenants with pretty decent credit scores because the neighborhood's kind of nice. Or if you really wanted to, you can even go Section 8 and target the folks with the big vouchers, right? You got a lot of options, right? Uh, but you could do that. Get in with next to no money, like four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000. You have to live somewhere for that year anyway. Why pay? pay all of your money towards rent. You're going to pay somebody else 1400 a month and get zero equity for that? No, right? Come in, pay yourself, right? You got the principal coming down. Every payment is paying down your principal, then move out, move on to the next property, turn this one into a rental. You do this like 10 times, guys, over like a 10-year period. Guess what? Who now owns over a million dollars worth of real estate? you do right that's how i got started in the biz my first deal uh was an owner occupied house hack what i actually did too is while i was living there i rented out a bedroom to my my brother and you could do something like that with this particular house too if you really wanted to while you're still living there for that first year uh you know you got a four bedroom house man rent three of the bedrooms uh to roommates and then move out after the year or just do what I did. Keep it for many, many years, right? Either way, this is a much better way to start uh, building your net worth, right? And I, li I like properties like this for these, right? Because, you know, some of the times, guys, what people come to Holton Wise for, uh, you guys really want to, like, see the best type of price-to-rent ratios, super cheap properties, properties that are, like, drastically cheaper than where they are in other markets across the USA. That's great. This one's obviously on the higher end of the pricing spectrum, right? But... If it's something you're actually going to live in, right, you got to look at your own life and be like, well, you know, it's give take to everything, right? This is a particular property where I can get a pretty decent uh, work-life balance, right? It's not all about the money, guys, because why do we make all this money? What is the point of getting fucking rich, y'all? The point of getting fucking rich is so you can enjoy it, so you can enjoy your life, so you have things to do for friends, for family. Uh, you have that freedom, right? So... Uh, it's not all about making money because the purpose of making money is to make your life better, right? So a uh, nice property like this, decent neighborhood that can help you make your life better while also still making you much more money than if you were uh, saving up for like a traditional rental property with a 25% down payment and then just renting in the interim when you could just jump into something like this, house hack it, grab some roommates or don't. Either way, makes a lot of sense. And again, does work for regular turnkey real estate investors as well if they just want like a low impact rental. So for all y'all, if you want to buy this thing, send an email to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. You want to pay cash, you can. We haven't even talked about anybody paying cash, but yeah, if you want to pay cash, that's cool. Send us uh, an email. Just tell us how much you want to offer and include your proof of funds. If you want to finance it, like I said, that's the way I think you should go. Just include the pre-approval letter for your lender. If you guys need lenders, I'll send them to you, both regular out-of-state turnkey investors and local house hackers. And if before... Uh, anybody's comfortable making that offer, you actually want to physically tour the property so you can check it out, see if you can see yourself living there or invest in this particular property. Totally fine. Not a problem. Just hit us up via email as long as you get us before 5 o'clock. As long as you get to the team before it's Miller time, we will get you in there the same day. Also, this show is not sponsored by Miller. Would be cool if it was, though. Hit me up, guys. Hit me up. I assure you. Uh, if you do sponsor this show, I find it highly unlikely uh, that you end up in like the same scenario Bud Light ended up, right? I don't, I don't see why anybody would be that outlandishly upset over a dude pitching some real estate, right? But uh, just to clarify, because I don't want to get sued by Miller, uh, the show not uh, sponsored by Miller. But it freaking could be. It could be, guys. Let's talk about it. Have a good day, y'all.
And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.